Embark on a journey through 15 of NASA's most astonishing discoveries that have altered our understanding of the cosmos. From the evidence of water on Mars to the mysteries of dark matter, these monumental findings have not only shaped scientific thought, but also captivated the human imagination. They can rip out electrons. They can, in fact, change the chemical configuration of cells causing mutations. They can ultimately kill you. Get ready to explore the boundless frontiers of space and science. Number one, discovery of water on Mars. The discovery of water on Mars has long been a topic of fascination, not just for scientists, but also for those intrigued by the possibility of life beyond Earth. When NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, MRO, detected signs of water flow on the Martian surface in 2015, it sent ripples through the scientific community and the world at large. The finding was momentous because water is a fundamental ingredient for life as we know it. The observations from the MRO indicated that salty liquid water flows intermittently on the Martian slopes, which was confirmed through spectroscopic analysis. Before this, evidence had primarily pointed to Mars as a barren and waterless world, with only frozen water detected at its poles. However, the discovery shifted the paradigm, making Mars a subject of renewed interest for astrobiology. It rekindled the age-old debate about the planet's capability to support life, either in its past or perhaps even in its present. Water's presence also has implications for future human missions to Mars, as it could potentially be used as a resource for astronauts. What made the discovery even more astounding was the realization that this water is not just ancient history. The observed water flows were seasonally dependent, suggesting an active water cycle. These findings were based on dark streaks appearing and growing during the Martian summer, disappearing during winter and reappearing the following summer. These streaks, known as recurring slope lineae, were best explained as being formed by briny or salty water flows. Number 2. Hubble Telescope's Deep Field Image when the Hubble Space Telescope aimed its lens at a seemingly empty patch of sky in 1995, the resulting image, known as the Hubble Deep Field, revealed a stunning cosmic tableau that exceeded all expectations. In a region of the sky only a fraction of the width of the moon, Hubble captured the images of over 3,000 galaxies, some of which were as distant as 12 billion light-years away. This revolutionary observation radically expanded our understanding of the scale and complexity of the universe. Before this undertaking, telescopes had given us a myopic view, offering glimpses into our own galaxy and its immediate neighbors. The Hubble Deep Field, however, shattered that limited scope by showcasing an assortment of galaxies of various sizes, shapes, and colors far beyond our Milky Way. Each speck of light in the image represents not just a single star, but an entire galaxy teeming with billions of stars, along with other celestial entities like black holes, neutron stars, and interstellar gases. The audacity of this project cannot be understated. Pointing a valuable and limited resource like Hubble at an empty part of the sky for 10 consecutive days was a risk that could have resulted in essentially no valuable data. However, the gamble paid off, and the outcome has been seminal for astrophysics and cosmology. This far-reaching view allowed scientists to start quantifying the rate of galaxy formation and evolution, offering empirical data to theories that had hitherto been speculative. Number 3. Exoplanets and the Search for Habitable Zones The search for exoplanets, planets that orbit stars outside our solar system, has been one of the most enthralling pursuits of modern astronomy. Before the 1990s, our knowledge of planets was confined to our solar system. However, the discovery of the first exoplanet orbiting a sun-like star in 1995 altered this narrow view. NASA's Kepler Space Telescope, launched in 2009, accelerated this endeavor exponentially by identifying thousands of these celestial bodies, many of which lie in what is termed the habitable zone. The concept of a habitable zone is intrinsically tied to the search for extraterrestrial life. This is the region around a star where conditions might be right for liquid water to exist, a prerequisite for life as we know it. The Kepler telescope, through its transit method of detecting planetary movements across their host stars, 
has enabled scientists to identify a plethora of such planets that lie within their star's habitable zone. Each discovery ignites the imagination, prompting us to consider the potential for life elsewhere in the cosmos. One might wonder why the identification of a zone capable of supporting liquid water is so essential. The answer lies in its role as a solvent and a key participant in biochemical reactions essential for life. The presence of water sets the stage for the existence of a stable atmosphere and perhaps even complex organic compounds. These are the building blocks for life, and finding them beyond our Earth has staggering implications. Apart from Kepler, other missions like the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, TESS, have taken up the mantle, widening the net for exoplanet discoveries. The data gathered are not just academic exercises, but form the basis for more focused future missions designed to probe these exoplanets for signs of life. Spectroscopic studies that can identify atmospheric components and potentially even biomarkers are on the horizon. Number 4. The Ozone Hole Monitoring While not as distant or seemingly mystical as black holes or exoplanets, the monitoring of Earth's ozone layer has been a critical and impactful aspect of NASA's scientific endeavors. In 1985, scientists discovered a dramatic depletion in the ozone layer over Antarctica, commonly referred to as the ozone hole. This alarmed the global community, as the ozone layer serves as Earth's natural sunscreen, protecting life from harmful ultraviolet UV, radiation. A depleted ozone layer would result in severe consequences, including increased rates of skin cancer and other UV-induced health problems, as well as harmful impacts on marine ecosystems, including phytoplankton, which forms the basis of the marine food web. NASA's role in monitoring the ozone hole has been pivotal, employing a suite of satellite instruments that include the Total Ozone Mapping Spectrometer, TOMS, and the Ozone Monitoring Instrument, OMI. These instruments have provided an unprecedented understanding of ozone layer dynamics, they have continuously mapped ozone concentrations worldwide, providing vital data for researchers and policymakers alike. The information was a compelling factor in the global effort to ban or reduce substances like chlorofluorocarbons, CFCs, chemicals that were found to be key culprits in ozone depletion. Following the implementation of international agreements like the Montreal Protocol, which phased out the production of many ozone-depleting substances, NASA's monitoring has shown signs of recovery in the ozone layer. This has been a monumental success story for environmental policy, guided and supported by rigorous scientific data. The studies conducted have also improved our understanding of atmospheric circulation patterns and how they can be affected by human activities. Number 5. Evidence of Dark Matter Dark matter, an elusive and invisible form of matter that makes up about 27% of the universe, has been one of the most puzzling enigmas in cosmology. Despite its invisibility and the fact that it doesn't interact with electromagnetic forces, which means it doesn't emit, absorb, or reflect light, its presence has been inferred through its gravitational effects on visible matter. NASA's role in gathering evidence for dark matter has been pivotal and has come through multiple avenues, most notably the observations made by the Chandra X-ray Observatory and the Hubble Space Telescope. Chandra's X-ray observations of galaxy clusters, the largest structures in the universe held together by gravity, have been particularly revealing. The hot gas in these clusters emits X-rays, and the distribution of this X-ray emitting gas is influenced by the gravitational pull of dark matter. By studying distortions in the X-ray emissions, Scientists have been able to map the location and density of dark matter in these clusters, providing compelling evidence of its existence. Likewise, the Hubble Space Telescope has provided indirect but powerful evidence for dark matter through a phenomenon known as gravitational lensing. When light from distant galaxies passes near an object with sufficient mass, the gravitational field of the mass acts like a lens, bending the light. The extent to which this light is bent can be used to calculate the mass of the object causing the lensing. In numerous cases, the mass calculated from lensing significantly exceeds the mass of all the visible matter, affirming the presence of substantial amounts of dark matter. NASA's WMAP, Wilkinson Microwave Anisotropy Probe, has also contributed by measuring the cosmic microwave background radiation, 
which has allowed scientists to calculate that a significant portion of the universe is composed of this mysterious substance. These multiple lines of evidence have made dark matter an irrefutable, if not yet fully understood, aspect of our universe. Number 6. Voyager Probes Leaving the Solar System The Voyager missions launched by NASA in 1977 have provided humanity with an awe-inspiring perspective on the solar system and beyond. Initially aimed at studying the outer planets, both Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 have far exceeded their original objectives. The crowning achievement came when Voyager 1 became the first human-made object to enter interstellar space in 2012, followed by Voyager 2 in 2018. These milestones have granted us unprecedented insights into the boundaries of our solar system and what lies beyond. As the Voyager probes crossed the heliopause, the boundary where the solar wind slows down and merges with the interstellar medium, they provided direct measurements of this transition zone for the first time. Instruments on board detected a distinct change in the density and temperature of charged particles, confirming that they had indeed left the influence of our sun's gravity and entered a new cosmic realm. The magnitude of this accomplishment is hard to overstate. The probes are now more than 14 billion miles away from Earth, in a region where no human-made object had ever ventured before. Despite their enormous distance from Earth and the limitations of 1970s technology, the Voyager probes continue to transmit valuable data. They are helping scientists understand the structure and dynamics of the heliosphere, the magnetic bubble that encompasses our solar system. By studying the interaction between the solar wind and the interstellar medium, Researchers are gaining insights into fundamental astrophysical processes. Moreover, the data collected is offering clues about the broader structure of our Milky Way galaxy and is informing theories about the magnetic fields that pervade the cosmos. Number 7. The Pioneer Anomaly In the annals of space exploration, the Pioneer 10 and Pioneer 11 missions occupy a special place for their groundbreaking journeys to the outer solar system. Launched in the early 1970s, these spacecrafts were instrumental in exploring Jupiter, Saturn, and the vast interplanetary medium. However, they gained renewed attention for an unexpected reason, the Pioneer Anomaly. As the spacecraft ventured farther from Earth, scientists noticed a tiny but unaccountable acceleration towards the Sun, a phenomenon that could not be easily explained by known laws of physics or accounted for by any conventional factors like the gravitational pull of celestial bodies or the thrust from residual gas leaks. NASA's meticulous tracking data provided a fertile ground for hypothesizing about this enigmatic behavior. The discrepancy between the calculated and observed trajectories invited a host of theories, ranging from modifications to the law of gravity to the presence of dark matter. Such was the allure of the pioneer anomaly that it became a subject of rigorous scientific inquiry, drawing attention from physicists and astronomers around the globe. For years, it remained one of the unresolved puzzles in astrophysics, challenging conventional wisdom and begging for an explanation. The answer, when it finally came, was less revolutionary but profoundly illuminating. Detailed analyses suggested that the mysterious force could be attributed to anisotropic thermal radiation, meaning the way the spacecraft emitted heat was not perfectly symmetrical. The heat emitted by the spacecraft's electrical components and plutonium power sources was propelling it slightly, causing the observed deviation. Though seemingly mundane, this conclusion was reached only after extensive analysis, including a thorough review of the original telemetry data and intricate computational models. Number 8. Black Holes and AMP Gravitational Waves The quest to understand black holes and gravitational waves has captivated scientists and the public alike, offering mind-bending insights into the very fabric of space-time. NASA's role in unraveling these cosmic enigmas has been indispensable. While black holes have been part of scientific discourse since the early 20th century, their mysterious nature was substantiated through observations of X-ray emissions from binary star systems and later by capturing the first ever image of a black hole's event horizon. Gravitational waves, a key prediction of Einstein's general theory of relativity, were finally detected in 2015 by the LIGO observatories. However, 
Their astrophysical implications have been further enriched by NASA's missions. NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory has been instrumental in studying the behavior of matter near a black hole. It has observed jets of energy and matter being expelled at nearly the speed of light from the vicinity of these dark celestial bodies. This information is crucial for understanding how black holes grow and how they affect the galaxies they inhabit. Chandra's findings have complemented data from LIGO and the European Space Agency's LISA Pathfinder mission, which aim to detect and study gravitational waves. These ripples in space-time occur due to the acceleration of massive objects, such as the collision or merger of black holes. NASA's involvement doesn't stop at observations. They are planning future missions, like the Laser Interferometer Space Antenna, LISA, in collaboration with the European Space Agency, specifically designed to detect gravitational waves from space. LISA will allow scientists to observe low-frequency gravitational waves that are not detectable by ground-based observatories, providing an entirely new auditory landscape to the universe. The data will help researchers probe the early universe, explore the structure and evolution of galaxies, and test the limits of general relativity. Number 9. The Twin Paradox Study Through ISS Astronauts one of the most captivating experiments that intersect both theoretical physics and real-world observation is the study of the twin paradox, a thought experiment based on Einstein's theory of special relativity. The paradox posits that if one twin travels at a high speed in a spaceship and then returns to Earth, they will find themselves younger than their Earth-bound sibling due to time dilation. While this had been tested and confirmed through precise atomic clock experiments, it was dramatically demonstrated on a human scale through the one-year mission aboard the International Space Station, ISS, featuring NASA astronaut Scott Kelly and his Earth-bound twin brother Mark Kelly. Scott Kelly spent nearly a year aboard the ISS, orbiting Earth at a speed of about 28,000 kilometers per hour, while Mark Kelly, also an astronaut but retired, remained on Earth. Multiple aspects of their health and biology were studied, from cognitive abilities to microbiomes. Yet the aspect that gripped public imagination was the differential aging, albeit very small, between the twins. Scott Kelly returned to Earth 0.01 seconds younger than he would have been had he stayed on Earth, a direct result of time dilation, just as special relativity had predicted. The mission offered a treasure trove of data beyond just affirming the twin paradox. Scientists delved into how the space environment affects gene expression, mental health, and the cardiovascular system, among other aspects of human physiology. Telomere lengths, the caps at the end of DNA strands that are associated with aging, actually increased in Scott Kelly during his time in space, but returned to pre-flight levels shortly after his return to Earth. This was a surprising discovery that raised new questions about cellular aging and how it may be influenced by the space environment. Number 10. Helium-3 on the Moon The presence of helium-3 on the Moon has been a subject of intense interest, not just for its scientific novelty, but also for its potential as a clean fuel source for future nuclear fusion reactors. Helium-3 is rare on Earth but relatively abundant on the lunar surface embedded in the Moon's uppermost layer of regolith by billions of years of solar wind bombardment. NASA's Lunar Prospector mission, along with data from Apollo missions, has provided compelling evidence for economically feasible quantities of helium-3 on the Moon. Given its potential to revolutionize energy production, this discovery has profound implications for both sustainable energy and geopolitical dynamics. Nuclear fusion, the process that powers the sun, has long been considered the holy grail of energy production. Unlike current nuclear fission reactors, which generate hazardous waste and pose meltdown risks, fusion reactors promise to be clean, safe, and virtually limitless in their energy output. Helium-3 could serve as an ideal fuel for these reactors, allowing for efficient energy production with minimal radioactive waste. A small amount of helium-3 could provide enormous amounts of energy. Estimates suggest that just 25 tons of lunar helium-3 could power the United States for an entire year. While the technical challenges of mining the moon and building fusion reactors remain formidable, the strategic importance of lunar helium-3 has not gone unnoticed. 
It has the potential to shift the balance of power in global energy markets, reduce dependence on fossil fuels, and facilitate sustainable growth. Countries like China and Russia have already expressed interest in lunar mining operations, making helium-3 a subject of both scientific inquiry and geopolitical strategy. Number 11. H-Mapping of Venus Through Magellan Mission The exploration of Venus received a monumental boost with NASA's Magellan Mission, which operated from 1989 to 1994. Equipped with a synthetic aperture radar, Magellan was designed to pierce through Venus's thick, cloud-choked atmosphere and map the planet's surface with unprecedented detail. Prior to this, our neighboring planet had largely remained a mystery, obscured by dense clouds that rendered traditional optical telescopes ineffective. Magellan revolutionized our understanding by revealing intricate details about Venus's. Geological features, including its mountain ranges, expansive plains, and thousands of volcanoes. One of its most striking discoveries was the evidence of tectonic activities similar to those on Earth, challenging previous assumptions about Venus's geological inertness. The Magellan mission not only provided a cartographic treasure, but also helped refine models of planetary evolution. Features like the Maxwell Montes, the highest mountain range on Venus, and the long, meandering channels resembling earthly rivers evoked questions about Venus's geological history and the forces shaping its topography. Moreover, the global map created by Magellan served as a basis for numerous scientific endeavors aimed at understanding planetary geology, climatology, and even exoplanet research. NASA's Magellan mission paved the way for future planetary exploration, setting standards for radar imaging and data analysis. Its successes go beyond merely mapping Venus. It offered a broader understanding of planetary processes and phenomena that are not just confined to Earth. Number 12. The Rotational Dynamics of Hyperion Hyperion, one of Saturn's smaller moons, presented an extraordinary puzzle with its erratic rotation. Most celestial bodies, including planets and moons, have a predictable uniform rotation. Hyperion, however, displayed a chaotic behavior, tumbling unpredictably as it orbited Saturn. The dynamics of its rotation caught the attention of astronomers and led to specialized study through NASA's Cassini mission, which provided the most detailed observations of this odd celestial object. The irregular shape of Hyperion resembling a sponge and its low density are key factors contributing to its unique rotational dynamics. Unlike more spherical moons, Hyperion's uneven mass distribution results in an unstable rotation. Cassini's close flybys revealed that the moon's craters were incredibly deep, suggesting a porous interior and reinforcing theories about its low density. This chaotic behavior also opened a window into understanding the history and formation of Hyperion. The current hypothesis is that the moon is a fragment of a larger body that was shattered by a significant impact. Its unusual dynamics provide insights into the violent events that have shaped the solar system, serving as a living relic of an ancient past. Number 13. The Shape and Structure of Asteroid Eros the exploration of asteroid Eros by NASA's near Shoemaker spacecraft was a watershed moment in the field of planetary science. Launched in 1996, the spacecraft spent a year studying Eros from orbit before eventually landing on its surface in 2001, making it the first spacecraft to both orbit and land on an asteroid. The mission's findings revolutionized our understanding of asteroids and their role in the solar system. Eros, an S-type or stony asteroid, is roughly 34 kilometers long and shaped like a peanut, indicating that it may be a rubble-pile asteroid formed from the collision and subsequent reassembly of smaller objects. The detailed mapping of Eros revealed more than just its shape. It provided vital clues about its structure, composition, and geological history. For instance, Eros is covered with a layer of regolith, a loose covering of dust and small rocks, but beneath that, the asteroid appeared to be solid and contiguous. This suggested that Eros was likely a cohesive body rather than a loose assemblage of rocks held together by gravity, as some had hypothesized. The presence of large craters and grooves on its surface offered additional layers of complexity, suggesting a history of violent impacts and raising questions about its structural integrity and the forces that have shaped it over time.
A surprising discovery was the presence of bright patches of material on the asteroid's surface, suggesting that Eros has undergone some level of space weathering. Theories were put forth suggesting that these could be the result of micrometeoroid impacts, releasing fresher, brighter material from beneath the surface, or possibly the consequence of solar wind interactions. These bright features raised intriguing questions about the weathering processes that asteroids undergo, and by extension, how planetary bodies evolve over time. Number 14. Mars Rover Findings – Organic Compounds The discovery of organic compounds on Mars by NASA's rovers, particularly Curiosity, has been nothing short of a seismic shift in the realm of astrobiology. Organic compounds which contain carbon atoms are essential for life as we know it, though their presence does not necessarily indicate life itself. The Curiosity rover deployed in the Gale Crater made headlines when it detected organic molecules like methane and more complex carbon compounds in the Martian soil. These findings emerged from drilling and sampling activities, followed by complex analysis on board the rover itself using its chemistry laboratory. Understanding the origin of these organic compounds is crucial. Several theories have been proposed, including the possibility that they are remnants of ancient Martian life, or perhaps were delivered to Mars via meteorites. Yet another explanation is that they are the result of natural geological processes. Regardless of their origin, the presence of these organic compounds profoundly changes the landscape of potential habitability on Mars, leading to renewed discussions about the planet's capacity to support life, either in the past or possibly even in the future. The search for organic compounds also highlights the prowess of robotic missions in conducting intricate scientific research. The complexity of drilling, sampling, and analyzing Martian soil in search of these compounds would be a formidable task even in a well-equipped Earth laboratory. The fact that a rover could accomplish this millions of miles away is a testament to the sophistication of modern planetary science missions. Number 15. The James Webb Space Telescope when it comes to pushing the boundaries of our understanding of the universe, the James Webb Space Telescope stands as a monumental leap forward. Designed as the successor to the Hubble Space Telescope, the James Webb is equipped with a much larger mirror and more advanced instruments, enabling it to peer further into the universe and back in time than ever before. With capabilities to observe in the infrared spectrum, it promises to unlock secrets that are beyond the reach of current telescopes.